everyone, Miss Terry here. We're here to work on some more G art. We're doing letter G this week. G says G, 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 G. It's a throat sound. It's not a tip tapper like D, D, D. I use my tongue for that one. For this one, I got to pull my tongue all the way back. The tip of my tongue doesn't have to do any work at all. It all happens here. G, 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 like goose and like ghost. Today we're going to do G is for ghost. Do you remember what ghosts say? Boo. This is Halloween week along with G week. So I thought doing ghosts could be a good way to practice our G sound. G is for ghost, g, g, ghost. All right, so also this week, so you can see what some other ghosts look like and for our counting and our number activity that you'll be able to find on Miss Terry's blog, learnsaydo.com. If you go on there for this week and you scroll down, have your grown up, g, g, grown up, scroll down and under the um, other videos listed there for this week, it'll say um, counting in numbers, countdown to Halloween. And here is a ghost. Whoops, here he is. Ghost. G is for ghost. So we'll be reading about a ghost in this book. We'll also be reading about a ghost in this book, Inside a House That is Haunted. We'll do this one, doing one during one of our morning circles this week. So watch for the morning circles this week. And we'll also have one. There's a ghost also in this story, Big Pumpkin. We'll be doing that this week. Also, we'll be doing lots of fun Halloween things this week. So make sure you watch those morning meetings. But for now, Let's do our G is for ghost. So let's see what Miss Laura put in our bags. Here's our big white ghost. That's where we're going to put all the decorations. And inside your big bag, there should be a little bag. Can you find your little bag? Let's see what's inside. Let's open it up. Inside, we have two black circles, little black circles. These will be for the eyes. And we also have some really big wiggly eyes, squiggly eyes. There they are, do you see them? Maybe I'll put them on my hands like that. There they are. Those are gonna go on our ghost also. Those will go right on top of these black circles to make our eyes, just like that. Okay, and let's see what else is in the bag. We have a black oval, a black oval. And do you know what that's going to be? That's gonna be our ghost's mouth. Whoops, down he came. All right, and then what's left in our bag? It looks like snow. It's not snow. These are cotton balls. So we'll be actually um, starting with the cotton balls. So keep those handy. We're gonna start with the cotton balls. It's our first part of the job. All right, and um, glue sticks are probably not going to work too well this week. So for this particular, or for this particular art project, we're going to use the school glue. So can you grab your school glue from your starter kit? I'm going to get mine ready. And turn the top so it's open. So before we put any glue on, we're going to need to prepare are cotton balls. So you can go ahead and pour your cotton balls out. I'm going to get a tray to pour mine out onto. I'm going to pour mine onto a tray. There we go. All of them. See how my, now my bag is empty. I poured all of them onto a tray. Remember your grown up can hit pause if you need to. Sometimes we need to stop and 
slow down a little bit, that's okay. So here's our cotton balls. What we're going to do is we're gonna take each cotton ball, I'm gonna put all the ones that aren't finished yet, I'm gonna put here, and I'm gonna put the finished ones on this side so I know which ones are finished. So these are the ones I still need to do. Those will be over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it apart with my fingers, just like that. I'm gonna pull that apart. Just like that. It'll make it easier to glue if I pull them apart a little bit, just like that. Okay, so these ones are finished. I pulled those apart already. Let me take one I haven't done yet. I'm gonna pull it apart. I'm using my pincher fingers, um, and you, this is something that's good for building the muscles in your hands for when you start writing with a pencil or a crayon or a marker, um, but we need that for going to kindergarten for writing. We need to develop our pincer muscles because we use, we, we use a pincer grasp on our um, pencils and things. So it's important we build those muscles in our hands. This is a good activity for that. We're going to use our, our pincher um, fingers here and we're just going to pull apart just like that. Are you getting your fingers nice and strong? I can feel that in my hands. Can you feel that? There we go. Maybe one more pull on that one. Okay, so these ones are ready and I'm still working on these. I'm gonna pull those apart. Just like that. Just like that. I'm gonna pull them apart. And I'm gonna pull these apart. And these apart. And these apart. And these apart. All right, I think we're ready to work on our ghosts now. Okie dokie. So I'm going to take my um, tray and I'm not going to do it horizontally. I'm going to do it vertically up and down just like this. Same thing with my ghost. I don't want them sideways or horizontal. I want them vertical up and down. So I'm going to put him just like that. Okay. And before we put his face on, we need to get all our fuzzy pieces of cotton onto our ghost. That, that will make him um, have a little bit more texture and um, feel a little bit more real to have some, um, some spooky, fuzzy cotton all over him. So we're going to start with that and then we'll add the face. So for this one, you'll need the school glue. And I'm just going to put some lines on there to make it a little easier. So I'm going to start at the top just like I'm writing, like I'm writing letters. Where do we start our letters? At the top. So I'm going to start at the top and draw some lines down with my glue, just like that. I might need more later, but I think this will probably be enough. And I think maybe I'll just do one across the top just like that, just in case. All right, so now we've got glue. Do you see how I've got lots of lines of glue on my ghost? Remember, you can hit pause if you need to. If you need a little extra time, that's okay. All right, now we're going to start sticking that cotton on. You feel how soft that feels? It's very soft and fluffy, isn't it? Okay, we're just going to stick that on. And you might get some glue on your fingers and the cotton might stick to it. So you might end up with cotton on your fingers, little pieces, but that's okay. Go ahead and just finish up your ghost and then you can wash hands when you're done. Okay, we're gonna get all of that cotton on to our ghost. Oh, yep, it's happening. See, Miss Terry's getting a little, some fuzzies on her fingers. So, but I know I can wash my hands later, it'll be okay. No, 
Okay, how's yours looking? It's getting pretty full here. I'm going to put some at the top up here. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And Miss Terry's got a little bit of cotton on her fingers. I'm just going to kind of rub that off for now, but I know I can wash my hands later. Okay, now it's time to do the face. Here's the cotton part. It's all my cotton. All right, now I'm going to do um, the face. So the first thing I'm going to do is the eyes at the top. So first I'm going to put some glue on one of my black circles. Can you see how I did that? And then I'm going to stick that right on. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Put a little bit of glue on my little black circle. See, just like that. And stick that on. And then do you remember what I'm putting on top of those? Do you remember the googly eyes, the wiggly eyes, the squiggly eyes? We usually call them googly eyes. Hey, G is for g -g googly, googly eyes. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to put some more glue on each of those black circles, just like that. And that's where my googly eyes are going to go. So one googly eye and another googly eye. There we go. There we go. G is for go. How about that? All right. Now, do you remember what else needs to go on there? A mouth. Can you find your black oval? This is an oval shape. Find your black oval. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the glue right onto my oval, just like that. Now, usually we put the mouth on like this, but we're actually going to turn it up and down vertical and stick it on because usually a ghost says, Ooh, and that's kind of a, kind of an oval round sort of a, a posture with your lips. So that's, we're going to make an oval with our lips. Ooh, just like that. There is our G is for ghost. Did you enjoy that? I did. I thought that was really fun. Thanks for making a G is for ghost with Miss Terry and using some g -g glue. G is for glue. There's so many G things. Now I want you to go. G is for go and have a great rest of the day. Bye now.